Hello everyone, welcome back to eSigAdvance.com. My name is Cody and today I'm going to be doing a review on Gen X Vapor e-liquids. Uh, Gen X Vapor's website is www.genxvapor.com. Uh, these are 5 mil samples and their pricing on their 5 mil samples is about $3.99. Uh, the pricing on larger bottles, for instance, this is a 30 mil bottle that I purchased afterwards, uh, is for zero nick, um, for you know all you people out there who are all the way down to zero, is 10.99 for 30 mils. It's about 36 uh, cents a milliliter. It's really good pricing. Uh, for nicotine, uh, from six to 24, it is 14.99, which is about standard. So. Uh, good prices. Uh, that comes out to 49 cents a milliliter. So the five juices I have here today are uh, lemon D light, caramelized pear, blueberry cheesecake, great melon balls of fire, and vanilla spice. Uh, to get started, I'm going to be doing lemon D light. Uh, this is a six milligram sample. It's a little lower than I'm used to. But that's okay. Just going to be doing flavor and that kind of good stuff today. As for their uh, ratio from VG and PG, uh, I think you can customize it to a certain extent. I think you can go 70-30, uh, I believe is what all this is. So it's about, about a standard juice. I am going to be trying this uh, on with my Provary. Uh, it's a V1 Pro Vary with my Empire Mods 1.5 ohm Bridgeless 510 Atomizer and just, you know, a, a drip tip. So this is Lemon D Light. Got some drips in there. And what they say about Lemon D Light on their site is, uh, are you looking for a mouth-watering, rich, lemon-drenched cake with an extra special, extra special twist? If so, you'll be delighted to try this buttery, lemony, very yummy e-juice. We think you'll be begging for more. So, let's try it out. I do believe I have the 1.5 ohm uh, running at 4 volts. So, here we go. Need a little bit more in there. All right. All right, so Lemon Delight. I'm getting a, a slight lemon in there. It's not pine solly or any of the problems that you generally associate with a, a, a lemon. Uh, it tastes like kind of like a cake in there. It tastes like a really moist cake if, if you know the difference between like a cake that's been setting out all day versus a moist cake. It tastes like a very light lemon uh, moist cake. It's really, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, I happen to really like lemon desserts. So um, I've been vaping on this one off and on. I'm not a huge bakery person, but this one's actually a, a pretty tasty juice. Uh, the vapor. Vapor's pretty good, you know, no, no qualms there. Throat hit, where it's six milligrams, super light for me. Uh, but where I have ordered another bottle, I ordered in my regular milligram, and they do, you know, their milligrams feel like what they say they are, so that's good. So, I will get this cleaned out, we'll be back, guys. Next up, I'll be trying out blueberry cheesecake. So what they say about blueberry cheesecake on their site is if you like ripe blueberries, decadent cheesecake, and rich, creamy ice cream, you'll love this juice. Well, I like blueberries, you know, all that sounds good. So let's see how close we're getting to a blueberry cheesecake with this. Oop. The smell of it, it smells amazing. It smells like blueberry, it smells like a, some sort of bakery in there, which I'm assuming is the cheesecake. It smells really good. Let's try it out. Little more. Mm. 
Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a really good blueberry in there. It's not too overpowering. Um, I'm getting a creamy, creamy cheesecake, creamy dessert taste in there. It's hard to pinpoint it as a cheesecake, um, but it is definitely a desserty kind of blueberry taste. It's, it's really good. Um, like I said, I've stated in a lot of my videos, I'm not a huge dessert fan, but these aren't that overly sickly, overly uh, flavored bakery style. So I, I've actually enjoyed them quite a bit. <coughs> the vapor's fine. The throat hit's pretty much non-existent for me at a six milligram. Um, but overall, overall, it's a really good, uh, you know, it's a really good bakery style blueberry cheesecake. Um, so I'm going to get this cleaned out as always, and I'm going to move on to the next one, guys. And we're back. Now I'm going to be doing a review on the caramelized pear from Gen X Vapor. The smell, getting a really, really nice caramel smell, and a, uh, I'm definitely smelling pear, so smell-wise, they hit it dead on. And again, trying this in the Empire Mods Bridges 510. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's insane. I don't even need, even need to vape that anymore to know that it is exactly caramel on top of pears. It is absolutely caramel on top of pears. Um, to me, it's not, it's not something I would personally vape because, I, like I, I've said probably five times in this review, I'm not a huge bakery guy, but these juices are light enough to, if you really don't like bakeries and you still kind of yearn for that sweet taste every now and then, uh, personally, I myself do, and I'll keep a bottle around just in case. I really want something sweet, but I don't want to eat something sweet or we don't have anything sweet to eat. Um, I can drip a couple drops and you know it has me for the I don't need to eat anything or, or go searching for anything rather. Um, this is a very 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 good caramel it's not like artificial in any way it tastes exactly like if you took caramel and you dumped it on top of some pears and you ate it. It's exactly what it tastes like. Way to go. So let me get it cleaned out and we're going to move on to the last two. Next up, we have Vanilla Spice. Um, and I just noticed this on the bottles, you know, sorry for not being as uh, observant as I should have been, but this is a 70-30 mixture. It does say 30% BG on the bottle, so yes, it is 70-30. Sorry about that. Um, the Vanilla Spice, they say on their website, is a silky smoothie liquid with a creamy, complex blend of vanillas. And the cream and cream with a perfect touch of cinnamon for a lightly spiced finish. So let's see what I'm picking up when I smell it. I'm picking up just that. I'm picking up vanilla and I'm picking up a, um, like a sweet sugary cinnamon. So let's go ahead and do some drips and see if it tastes like it smells. And again, this is Vanilla Spice from Gen X Vapors. Here we go. Yeah. All right. That's all I need on this one, too. This one has, um, I'm not really getting complex vanillas, but it's definitely a vanilla. Vanilla is dominant. And you have this uh, little aftertaste of like this sweet cinnamon. It's not like uh, a cinnamon that's like burning your throat kind of cinnamon. Um, like, you know, you've, you've had cinnamons out there that are just like, whoa. This is more like if you took um, maybe vanilla pudding or something like that and sprinkled some cinnamon sugar on top, almost identical. Almost identical. It's a really good juice. So... Let me get it cleaned out. We're going to move on to the last one, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, the last one I have up is called Great Melon Balls of Fire. 
Now, Great Melon Balls of Fire, um, what they say on their website is, we've taken the bold fruity flavor of watermelon along with other fruit flavors and set them ablaze in this very out of the ordinary e-juice. Well, yes, yes they have. Um, <laughs> I got my sample and, well, you know, I got the samples to review. I Normally what I do is I take them home, spend a couple days with them, see what I, you know, what I like about them. Um, that way it's just not an initial kind of review or if I taste little nuances, I take notes. Um, I absolutely love this juice. Uh, I blew through the five mil bottle in about a day and a half. Um, quickly went to the website to order a 30 mil and uh, couldn't really find it anywhere. So I took a little Google search on the, excuse me, a little Google searching, uh, found the juice, ordered it, and I realized on the site that they are having a little bit of trouble with sourcing their flavorings for this e-liquid. Um, so you may not be able to get it right this second, but I know that they're supposed to be fixing that in the future. Um, so the Great Melon Balls of Fire, absolutely awesome. Um, I'm actually going to be using it uh, in my GG, still with an atomizer. It's still a Bridgeless 510 uh, Empire Mods atomizer. Uh, I do believe I have this kicked to about mm, nine and a half watts. Um, it's it's quickly become one of my all-day vapes. Uh, so here we go, a couple drips of the juice. Ooh, I made a flood a little much, but that's okay. And here we go, Great Melon Balls of Fire by Gen X Vapor. Mm. Wow. As soon as I tasted it, I took it home and tasted it, it was one of those juices that immediately fit my play, uh, flavor profile. It was something a little different than I had been vaping. And I've pretty much put it down. I haven't put it down. It's nonstop vaping for me. Um, I bumped the milligrams up for my personal use to 12 milligram. Uh, this juice has an awesome, awesome taste of melon. It's a, it's a watermelon. I'm not really getting anything else in there. There may be like a, a cantaloupe, um, but if, if there is, it's, it's minute tasting. It's, not, it's primarily dominantly um, watermelon. And then uh, <clears throat> you get this crazy, crazy burn of cinnamon. It's almost like if you've had an atomic fireball, that burn you get when you have it in your mouth for you know 30 seconds or so, it's, it almost coats your tongue and your throat. It adds to the throat hit substantially. <clears throat> it's, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I love the juice. Um, it's pretty much taking the place of Pluid for me um, right now because, I mean, I have plenty of Pluid, you know, I kind of stockpiled, but I, I was kind of getting burnout. So this juice is, is awesome. I'm kind of upset right now that I'm not able to purchase it because they did just have a President's Day sale where you bought two 30 mils, you can get one free. I was gonna buy, th you know, get three 30 mils of this, but they don't have the option to buy it on the site. Um, I completely recommend that if you like cinnamon vapes and, um, and you want to try something a little funky, you know, most people don't pair melon with cinnamon. cinnamon. Um, you know, it's usually just watermelon or fruitier type of, you know, collages together in a juice profile. This is something out of the box, something out of the ordinary, and I feel like they nailed it. So, um, this one gets five stars from me. It's quickly going to become one of my all-day vapes. Uh, so, that's, that's going to take a gold medal all the way. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, Lemon Delight for a bakery. It's really light. It's really, um, f you know, it's pretty flavorful. And it's, um, it's a good bakery for whenever you want something a little sweet. Um, and honestly, the last three are all really good. The Vanilla Spice really isn't my, uh, my tune. But if you know, there's a lot of people out there who do like vanilla vapes. And that's completely fine. Um, the caramelized pear, again, tasted exactly like caramel dumped on top of pears. And uh, the blueberry cheesecake was good as well. So if you're interested in trying out some of these juices, go to www.genxvapor.com. Got great pricing, great juices. Um, and when it comes back on, I recommend you guys picking up a bottle of Great Melon Balls of Fire. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, as always, post in the uh, comments below on the YouTube video or come visit us at www.esigadvance.com forums. Um, you can vape for free, guys. 
go on there. Just become part of our very, very uh, warm-hearted community. You know, there's no fights, there's no banter, there's nothing like that. It's just a bunch of people who are really want to help each other. It's really awesome. It's really awesome. Um, come on there, you know, earn points, and you can just get stuff out of our store for free. Um, so, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and just keep on vaping, guys.